All right, guys, so it is Saturday again. I am out yard sailing. I am actually up at a gated community. Ah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of nice houses. It's um, surrounded by like a lake. And it's so interesting. Like when you come, even if it's for the yard sale, you have to go through the gate, give your last name and why you're there. It's very like highly secure kind of area, which is nice. Um, I wouldn't mind living up here, but it's kind of far away from, you know, where I work and everything like that. But it's been a while since I've been up here. I don't know if I've been up here since my mom passed away. So it is already really weird to be up here um, by myself. So, um, yeah, I, I'm hoping to find some stuff. The yard sale typically, like, it's not actually supposed to start till 8, but... There's already people here. Uh, the parking situation is kind of crap, basically. I'm in a ditch right now. Hopefully, I can get back out without any problems. <laughs> um, but, yeah. So, there does look like there's some people starting to shop. Not everyone has, like, the tarps off their stuff and everything like that. But I think I'm going to get out and just try to go to the tables that are set up and look around and then just keep walking. Um, it rained yesterday and I know it's always a muddy mess up here so I wore my rain boots. So I'm just, you know, trying to think ahead today, Michelle. So I'm going to get out here. We're going to try to go to the couple that are open and then just keep walking until everyone is set up. So let's get going. <laughs> this is a craft lover's dream. See these um, planners? From, I think it's seven dollars. This one's really cute too. And then there's smaller ones here. But I'm like partial to this one because it comes with stuff. I don't know how much these retail for, but I like the look of this one. So I think I'm gonna get. I might get this one. was my mom's favorite brand of purse. 
really pretty. So I've already been around twice now, but people are still putting their stuff out, so I'm going to go around again. Oh, this thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright guys, so I am finished up here at the lake and I did find some stuff. I went around, oh my gosh, at least three or four times because uh, people hadn't been set up and <laughs> even my fourth time around there was people that I think just gave up in putting stuff out because like things were just still thrown in boxes and yeah. So I'm going to head on out of here and head to the Philip Egg Rummage Sale that I like going to. Um, I'm a little late to that now, but I, that's, that's fine. I don't know if I'm going to be going to any other sales today after that. Uh, we'll see. I'm kind of getting hungry already, so I may stop somewhere for something to eat. Maybe get like an iced coffee or something like that. So let's, wanna, hey, eh, let's head on over to the rummage sale and see if we can find anything there.
close. placemats. It's a frog. A snake. vintage blockbuster <laughs> apparently they never returned it Interesting, not quite sure. Is this like a filing thing? I found a unicorn tail. <laughs> Is that what a unicorn tail looks like? <laughs> it's got a clip on it. There's a build a bear. Oh, it's a kitty. It's really cute. people. It definitely looks vintage. Yep. Hello, people. 1988. Oh, here's an old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles puzzle. That is so adorable. So fun. It's kind of close. guys so i am finished yard selling i went to the villa bag rummage sale and then i also went to a another i went to a community yard sale that oh my gosh it is i i had never been there before and it was back like 
an alleyway. It felt like an alleyway. It was just a very narrow road. The houses were like super close together. It just kind of felt like I was in the boondocks kind of thing. And there was no place to park. And it was just, oh, I wish I had been like recording, but obviously I was driving, so I wasn't able to. But it was just the most, I don't know, weird thing ever. And then even just driving to the first yard sale that I went to, I was going down roads I've never been before. And I always kind of forget, I live in Pennsylvania and there's just a lot of trees, a lot of wooded areas in places. And then there's like farm areas and other places. And it's like, I kind of forget just how many weird little back roads, like back little wooded roads there are until I, I just go down them for the first time ever. And I went down this one road, I saw a bunch of cows, which made me really happy. And then a scene from a nightmare there were these huge vultures oh my gosh bigger than my dog i have a shih tzu bigger than my shih tzu eating something dead i was driving i just saw like this horde of these huge vultures picking at something dead i couldn't tell what it was uh, but it looked big as well and oh my god it just was so 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 creepy big birds kind of scare me like that's kind of my I don't know I not necessarily fear but I don't want to be driving up up on some like big birds eating something dead like I just feel like they're looking at me like you're next kind of thing so that was a little bit creepy but I am actually on my way home I stopped so I could do my haul in my car I was driving and I'm like I wish there was a place I could just kind of like pull over and record my haul and not look like a complete weirdo sitting in my car. Uh, but there is a place close to my house that is actually like a walking trail. Again, another wooded area. So um, I parked here to do my haul and it's just nice and calm and peaceful here. There's actually no one here today. So I'm the only one in the parking lot. So I'm just going to show you guys what I got while I was out yard sailing today. And then I'll show you what I got at the fill bag sale. So at the yard sale I went to up at the lake, I did find a coach purse. This is just a little wristlet. This was 75 cents and it does need cleaned. And when I'm only paying like 75 cents, 50 cents for coach, I'll just throw these in the washing machine and they typically come out perfectly okay and nice and clean. So that's what I'm going to be doing with this one because it is dirty. So that's probably why it was so cheap. Um, but they are easy, easy to clean. There was a lot of coach there. There was a lot of nice bags, but they were very, very pricey <laughs> with their bags, which, you know, doesn't doesn't bother me obviously like you can put whatever you want to on your your um things that you're selling i didn't purchase any of those bags i did see a coach i liked for twenty dollars but i decided against it uh but yeah this was the only coach thing i found i also found this it cosmetics this is a confidence in a cream super cream and this was brand new in the box this was two dollars so i thought that was a really good deal I got a Victoria's Secret bathing suit. This is a leopard print bikini. And I know it's kind of hard to show things. I still didn't find my phone mount. Um, but this was $1. Or er, no, 50 cents. This was only 50 cents. And it looks brand new. So I got that. And I'm probably going to sell that just because I'm not comfortable in bikinis. I'm not... I'm not very confident with my body. It's unfortunate, but that's just how I am. I did get this um, cardigan sweater. It's this like crushed kind of, I don't know if you want to call that crushed velvet, but it's just this really soft maroon reddish velvet. It's a long sleeved cardigan and it was brand new. It still had the tags on it and it's by a company called Almost Famous and I paid $1 for that. Again, I apologize. It's like really hard to haul things in my car, but I wanted to haul in here since my last haul was at home. 
I got this t-shirt and hopefully you guys can be able to see that. Let me see. So it just has Penna, Pennsylvania. And then it has a <laughs> pretzel on it. And I know I mentioned in my last yard sale haul, um, or my last yard sale video, oh my gosh, there's some creepy man coming on this like tricycle. I'm not even kidding. Not even kidding. Um, so in my last yard sale video, I had posted that I pretty much live in like the snack capital of the world. And anyway, so I found this t-shirt and I thought it was so cute because it had the, the pretzel on it. So I bought that and this was a dollar. They had like different sizes and everything like that. So that's awesome. There goes the man in the tricycle. I'm not making fun of him. I think it's actually kind of cool. And this is a place for the public to walk around and things like that. So this is just kind of the area that I'm in right now. I found this Ralph Lauren tote. It's just a red and black plaid uh, with two carrying handles like this. And this was $3. So I thought this was really cute. It's nice and big and I like using these types of bags for when I'm yard sailing just to like throw all of my stuff in that I'm picking up. So I may end up keeping that or I may sell it. I'm not sure. I currently use a Victoria's Secret tote. I don't know if I've showed this before but this is the Victoria's Secret tote that I currently use. It's just pink. Oh. So there was this lady and man who had a like trailer full of stuff that looked like it came from a craft store and I don't know you know if they're just clearance shoppers or if they're dumpster divers or what I don't know um but I did end up picking up this planner and it's by Heidi Swap Swap and it's just white with gold polka dots. And I don't really keep planners. I've tried in the past, but my life's kind of boring. I don't have a whole lot to plan because I'm boring. I don't really do a whole lot of interesting things. So I feel like my planner would be mainly doodles and stickers, which I don't know. Um, but I figure... I was thinking like there is some things that I actually have planned this year that I can write in my planner and like kind of get into it a little bit. So I decided to pick it up. Um, I don't know the original price tag on here. Well, it was clearanced down to $19 and 97 cents. So I'm assuming originally it might've been like 20 something. Um, this was $7, which is a little pricey for a yard sale price, but it is brand new and I liked it so I went ahead and bought it. But she had other other stuff as well but I just went with that. But also from her I purchased this Woodwick um, oil reed diffuser. It comes with the reeds and then the scented oil and this is in Fraser fur so this will be good for around Christmas time. It was one dollar so I thought that was a good deal because in the store Woodwick's pretty dang pricey, so picked that up. I got this Victoria's Secret pink pineapple cup with twisty straw. <laughs> I did not need this. This was like <sighs> me just looking at it longingly, like sitting by a pool, sipping on my iced tea. I don't have a pool. These are like fantasies in my head, basically. But I was thinking of drinking like iced tea out of this and just relaxing this summer. Will it ever happen? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I just had to get it. It was $1. The original price tag on the bottom, $19.95. Who the heck would pay 20 bucks for a plastic pineapple cup just because it says pink on it, right? You pay for the name, people. You're paying for the name. But I got it. So I guess I can understand why someone might have paid 20 for it. I found this there. And this is a Baby Alive gift set. It comes with 
the food and some diapers. It's 10 juice packets, 10 food packets, and 10 diapers. So this is for the baby alive doll. Like you can feed them and she poops in her diaper and, and pees, poops and pees in her diaper. I used to have one of these when I was a little girl. This one I don't think is really like vintage. It's not from my era. This is from 2009. Uh, but I don't know if they still make these. And I know with things like this, um, people who have the dolls um, and, you know, children who want to use the dolls and have the, you know, food and drink packets, it's harder to find. So to find this brand new, I figured was a good deal for $1. I don't know the price. Yeah, there's the price tag. Uh, $1. So, yeah, I plan on selling that and hopefully um, making something decent off of it. And then there was one person that had some free stuff in a box and I took two of her free things. The first was E.T. Ah, E.T. phone home. He is so stinking cute. I absolutely love him and he was free. I couldn't just let him sit in fear that like he was gonna like go into the trash or something afterwards if no one took him. So I took him, I taking him home. And then I found this and this thing is so cool. Like look at how adorable this is. It's made of some sort of like hard, um, maybe resin or something. It looks like a little dragon with like a uh, fur puffs or whatever. And there's actually a thing there's actually like this thing at the end that when you press down, he moves. So like basically you're supposed to stick this wire through your shirt and then have him sit up here on your shoulder and you can move him around. And I know I've seen these before and I think they sell them at like Renaissance fairs and things like that, like little like Ren fairs. Um, so I'm sure whenever they purchased it at like the Ren Fair, it probably cost a good bit. It's actually signed on the bottom too. I don't know if you'll be able to read that or not. Um, but yeah, this was free. So I thought that was so super cute. I absolutely fell in love with this little guy. I mean, how stinking cute is that? So I definitely saved him from the free box. Then at the fill -a bag sale, I found this vintage pillow pet. And it's of a winking cat. So super cute. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, that looks like a pillow pet. And it was. Um, I used to have one of these when I was younger. I didn't have the cat, which is a shame because the cat is freaking awesome. And I think this one is a little more rare to find. I think most of the um, pillow pets, I believe, were like um, pillow people. They were pillow people. Pillow pets were something recently. Um I think they were mainly people, so to find the cat, I think, is a little more rare. So since this couldn't fit in my bag, since it's fill a bag for $3 on Saturday, I actually paid a dollar for this, but I looked it up on eBay, and I definitely can make more than a dollar off of it, so I didn't mind paying a dollar for it. I stopped at McDonald's before coming here. I got a french fry and a vanilla iced coffee. It's like my favorite combination. It's the perfect combination of sweet and salty. Mm. I already ate my french fries. I am a french fry kind of girl. So then also at Fill a Bag, I did find some clothes. And these are all going to be for resale. Um, either on eBay or Poshmark. So the first thing I got was a pair of these corduroy pants. These are by Vineyard Vines. They're a size 10, but I'm pretty sure it's a 10 in girls because these look really small. But I like picking up name brands there. So I got that. I got these capris. These are just denim capris and they are cut from the cloth. So I threw them in my bag. I threw these shorts in my bag. I thought they were super cute. They're just this blue with a really pretty print. And they are Cynthia Rowley. And then the only other thing I found there 
were these pair of true religion jeans i don't know if these are authentic i'll have to find out i'm not exactly sure how you tell if they're authentic or not ignore my band-aid i had a boo-boo um so i'll have to find out but considering it was like less than a dollar for them it's not going to be the end of the world if they aren't authentic i just will have to find out i'm not sure how to tell but that is everything I found this week. I'm pretty happy with it all. Uh, every Friday before I leave work here lately, because we've been kind of busy at work, um, my supervisor asks me if I want to come in on Saturday, and I tell him no. I'm like, no, I gotta go yard sailing. Like, I can't come into work. So, but yeah, I I feel bad, but also at the same time, it's like, you know, you need to have a life outside of work as well. And I bust my tail at work. I actually just had my yearly review and I had a really nice raise. Like since I first started, I, I don't want to say just in case anyone that I work with watches my videos, like I don't want... I don't want, you know, to cause any kind of like, oh my God, why is she making or why'd she get this much kind of thing. Uh, but I did have a really nice race since I started working there. Um, so I'm really happy about that because I cut, I took a pay cut to work there uh, just to get away from my old job because I had no life outside of my job there. And here... I know what time I'm starting work. I know what time I'm leaving work. Um, overtime isn't really mandatory. If you want to work overtime, you can, but it's not forced upon you, which is really nice because like I said, it helps you maintain a life outside of work, which is really hard sometimes nowadays with jobs that just want you to work, 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 work. And the money is amazing when you can do that. Um, at my old job, I was around Christmas time I was working so many hours and then like when I would go out shopping I we my boyfriend would just be like buy whatever you want like we have so much excess money from working our lives away just buy what you want like there was never any kind of like budgeting or anything like that I mean I don't budget usually to begin with but it's just really it was nice having that kind of security with my old job making so much but I am just so thankful that now I can enjoy my weekends and go yard sailing and, you know, just have fun with life. Um, I'll still suffer with anxiety and stuff like that, especially tomorrow is Mother's Day and I'm just, you know, going to try to get through it again. It's obviously not my first Mother's Day without my mother, but it still hasn't gotten any easier. I don't foresee it ever getting easier. Um, I'll probably stay off of social media tomorrow, like as far as Facebook and stuff goes, just so it's not like constantly in my face kind of thing. And, you know, I don't want people to feel like they can't talk about Mother's Day or anything around me or even like talk about their mother. Like, you can, like, I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to, you know be weird or anything like that but if I can help not being put in those situations then I'm going to avoid them just so it's not something just kind of like <clears throat> squishing my heart into its millionth piece but I'm doing okay so but yeah I'm just gonna stay off Facebook tomorrow but just anyone out there who has lost a mother or who is a mother and has lost a child or anything like that or you know if you can't be a mother but really want to be but maybe you have fertility issues we gotta hang in there we just have to hang in there I know everyone is suffering from something everyone is going through something and it's just it's really hard and the only thing we can do is just keep on living. And I remember when my mom passed away, there was like, I've had, I have some stories, like some weird stories, like kind of like, hmm, what was that kind of thing? 
but there was at one point in time where I was just so distraught and just worrying about what you know how life was going to play out without her and stuff like that and I just had this like fleeting thought that came through I don't feel like it was my own thought if that makes sense like I feel like it wasn't me who was thinking it in my head which is like the weirdest thing ever and I have no idea how to describe it because I've never had it happen to me before but this thought that came through my head was the only thing you have to do in life is live. That's not something I would quote myself as saying. Um, it's just very inspirational kind of thing. And I don't know if that was my mother, if that was something higher than her or anything like that, but it really kind of brought a peacefulness to me because it's the simplest thing just living like that's all we can do after we lose somebody and that's all we can do while we are here on earth and until we go wherever it is we go afterwards i don't know nobody knows um you know it's all we can do so yeah, that's just something I thought that I'd share with you guys. I don't, I wasn't trying to be inspirational or anything like that, but you know, maybe it was something I was supposed to pass on to somebody else that needed to hear that. All right, guys, so my camera or my phone actually was starting to overheat, so I am taking that as a sign that I should probably get home. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time.